Hitler's chief propagandist once said, repeat a lie often enough and it becomes the truth. Since the Qatar crisis started more than a month ago, the wind of misinformation has been blowing hard. What started as a media war between Qatar and its neighbors has come close to an actual war that could further destabilize the region, if not the world. But in this intensifying war of words, many have been left confused over what or whom to believe. Does Qatar support terrorism? Has the tiny nation destabilized the region? Well, let's break it down. It all started when the Qatar news agency Q&A was hacked. Media outlets like Al Arabiya and Sky News Arabia ran a series of tweets quoting the Emir of Qatar. The statements included the Emir expressing his support to Iran and Israel, criticizing Donald Trump and Qatar's Gulf neighbors. Of course, the problem is there was no recording of him saying these things. And despite the hacking claim, Al Arabiya and others treated it like real news. Al Arabiya even published an article with the headline, Proof that Qatar's news agency was not hacked. The article included four points, no sources, and no hard evidence. So yes, not much proof. Arab talk show hosts also added their unique touch to the mix. Just watch how Egyptian TV host Amr Adib seems to have continuously contrasting views. At this point, his audience was probably thinking, we are in deep shit. Nahlu fi karbin azim. As the diplomatic crisis went from zero to 100, some media outlets were quick to jump on board. Egyptian state owned Al Ahram ran an op ed about how Qatar will not host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Yet FIFA said that that's simply not true. Other baseless statements included Qatar funding Iranian backed Houthi rebels even though Qatar was a key part of the Saudi-led coalition fighting the Houthis in Yemen. Al Arabiya even went as far as claiming that Iranian revolutionary guards were in the Qatari Amiri's palace protecting him. Last but not least, an analyst interviewed by Al Arabiya explained how Qatari stomachs cannot handle Turkish dairy products. Some will call the above an editorial line, some will call it patriotism, and some call it opinion. But maybe it's just fake news. 